بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي حبت في الله كتيني اور ستاري اب على رسول الله باي امام محمد بن عبد الوهاب رحمه الله تعالى and we're talking about the types of ibadah that he mentioned in his treaties and he mentioned from among those types of ibadah the first thing he mentioned was dua was dua the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a dua hu ibadah that worship is uh, uh that invocation is ibadah meaning that when we supplicate we should supplicate only to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that supplication is a type of ibadah why does this seem redundant this seems like this is something that we, we should all know but in fact you'll find uh, all throughout the ummah of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in this time and throughout much of its history unfortunately that there are th those who are extreme go beyond an extreme uh in islam being extreme refers to tajawuz al had as the ulama mentioned that tajawuz al had meaning that to go beyond the bounds so people who go beyond the bounds in worship uh in, in dua they they supplicate to other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they supplicate to the to the dead as they supplicate to the living and a lot of times there are arguments like some of the more extreme sufis like uh uh rafai and many many countless uh uh people of tasawwuf their argument is that one of their arguments is that the dead and the living there is no difference that we are dealing with the essence of the human being and in fact this dua is 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 the same as if you are giving it to a righteous uh that you are asking a righteous man to supplicate on your behalf to Allah they say it in the end result it's to Allah that we are worshiping Allah but in fact this is a khata this is a big mistake and this is shirk because there is does not require any intermediary in carrying your supplication asking someone who is living to su supplicate on your behalf because you know them to be a righteous person this is permissible this does not mean that you are praying to that living person so there's a, a very distinct di difference between you praying to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam or praising to jesus sallallahu alaihi wasallam or moses or abraham alayhim afdal salatu wasalam or to the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in or to your sheikh or your marid or your imam or whoever the fact is because they are not living in this life and you are beseeching them that this is a type of ibadah which is impermissible to give to anyone except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a dua who are ibadah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said supplication is worship and worship a habit of Allah, as we know only belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the foundation of islam tawhid worshiping Allah that all acts of worship are to Allah we don't have to worship the president we don't have to worship our kings we don't have to worship our leaders we don't have to worship the imam we don't have to worship anyone except the one who created all things a dua wa ibadah and then he mentioned rahmatullahi alayhi he said that wa dalil qawluhu ta'ala uh, from the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ أَدْعُونِي يَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ مِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَقْبِرُونَ عَنْ إِبَادَتِي سَيَدْخُلُونَ جَهَنَّمَ دَاخِرِينَ And we already mentioned this ayat in the last uh, sitting where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, and he said, uh, 
your, your lords and your lord said uh ed'uni you know supplicate to me, supplicate to me and i will give to you verily those who are arrogant in worshiping me meaning that they don't worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they're too arrogant to worship allah then they will enter the hellfire in humiliation and then he said wa dalil al khawf qawluhu ta'ala and the evidence for khawf or fear fala takhafuhum wa khafuni in kuntum mu'minin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says so fear them not but fear me if you are truly believers and then he mentioned wa dalil al raja qawluhu ta'ala faman kana yarju liqa rabbihi فَيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا فَلَا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَهَدًا Then the evidence for hope, having hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that this is a type of ibadah. What's the delil? He said the evidence for this is the saying of Allah, which means so whoever hopes for the meeting with his Lord, let him work righteousness and associate none as a partner in the worship of his Lord. And reliance, a tawakkul. And the delil is a statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where he said while Allah while Allah fat tawakkalu in kuntum mu'minin and upon Allah put your trust if you are truly believers so tawakkal this is a type of ibadah all of these are types of ibadah that's why he's saying in dalil he's bringing dalil from kitab Allah wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam that these actions are types of what they are types of worship meaning that they're it's impermissible to direct these types of worship to anything or anyone besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then he said wa dilil aragaba wa rahba wa khushur qulu ta'ala innahum kana yusari'una fil khayrat wa yad'unana ragaban wa rahban wa kana wa kanu lana khashi'in uh, the evidence for humbleness and f God fearfulness and this, uh, you know, desiring uh, your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala is the evidence they used to hasten on to do good deeds and they used to call upon us with hope and fear and used to humble themselves before us, letting us know that hope and fear and humility before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is ibadah, and that's ibadah sahihah, that it, it should contain no shirk. It is not, these are acts of worship, so they only go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَقَالْ وَدَلِيلْ الْخَشِيَةِ قَوْلُهُ تَعَالَى فَلَا تَخْشَوْهُمْ وَخْشَوْنِي And the evidence for, for uh, khashiyah, khashiyah meaning, uh, meaning like humility is the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and do not uh, fear them but fear me uh, and the evidence for repentance is a statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and turn in repentance and obedience with true faith to your Lord and submit to Him. SubhanAllah. This is what we are asking the creation to do. Is to turn back to Allah. Even those people who apostated. As we mentioned in the last, in the previous sitting, we mentioned a particular individual uh, that we've known. And, and, and especially for many of us who reverted to Islam, we have known many people who converted and reverted to Islam with us, our old colleagues, our old companions, and many, I would say for my particular community, I I, I recall, I, I would say about 50 to 60, perhaps 70% of the people, unfortunately, because they didn't have knowledge of Tawheed, and the dunya, uh, because without that knowledge, then the struggles of life might encompass you. If you don't know who really Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and you bounce from minhaj to minhaj and opinion to opinion in your desires and you're being pulled by those things from your past life, then they left Islam. And so the Muslim, when we're calling 
non-Muslims and even those people who left Islam back to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're asking you and turn to repentance in obedience with true faith to your Lord and submit to him. To Allah, not to us. We don't gain anything from it. والدليل استعانة قوله تعالى وياك نعبد وياك نستعين and the دليل for seeking help that this type of seeking assistance is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to implore him is the dua in surah al-fatiha the evidence for this is the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you alone we worship and you alone we ask for help إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين and we rely upon you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Prophet sallallahu said, "Fi the sta'antu fistan billah." That if you uh, seek assistance and seek it from Allah, this is the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in Sahih At-Tirmidhi. Wudalil al istighatha, and the evidence for uh, taking refuge in Allah, and that this is an act of ibadah, is a statement of Allah subhanahu wa taala when He says. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Say, I seek refuge with Allah, the Lord of mankind. And slaughtering, the evidence for this is the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Say, verily my prayer, my sacrifice, my living and my dying are for Allah, the Lord, Rabbil Alameen. He has no partner, and of this I have been commanded, and I am the first of the Muslims. Allahu Akbar. What a beautiful ayat, which shows us the importance of Tawheedillah. And vowing, the evidence for this is the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which means they are those who fulfill their vows in fear a day whose evil will be 